of the makeup that I took with me on a recent trip. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw how wonderful Pigeon Forge, Tennessee is in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I absolutely love those places and I'm so glad that it's within a drivable distance because I cannot wait to go back. I had the best time celebrating my birthday, which was over the Labor Day holiday. And I just had such a blast and I showed you guys as much as I could. Of course, Snapchat tends to drain my cell phone battery, but I tried to show you guys as much as I could. It was such a good time and today I want to share with you guys the makeup that I brought with me. So I did things pretty easy and I usually do just to kind of preface this before getting into the good stuff. Uh, when I take my trips, I try to do very minimal makeup and keep it very easy. A little bit of liner, maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, some concealer where I need it, maybe if I have the time some foundation and of course the highlight, can't forget that, and some bronzer and blush, all those typical things that I always love wearing. And I always just do everything very easy because I don't want to spend a lot of time doing one, my makeup, two, my hair. Um, so styles like this, I do all the time, especially on vacation, put it up high, um, maybe even a side braid and easy makeup because I don't want to take a lot of time of my vacation, which is precious time, spending it doing my makeup and having to take an hour and a half just to do makeup and hair because I don't want to deal with it. So some of this stuff I didn't really actually use, just a few things. I was actually quite impressed that I was able to make the most out of it. Some things I recently just put in here because I am taking another trip. So while you're watching this, I'm already on another trip and I'm going to be posting this after I leave because there's something happening for someone very close to me, very near and dear to my heart. And um, without getting too emotional about it, I want to be there to support this person in this big journey. And so anyways, I'm going to post this after I leave so that certain someone doesn't start snooping around because I told them that I wasn't going to be able to make it. But Mama's being sneaky. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's not closed right now. Um, so everything is kind of out and just kind of thrown in here. I did film this tutorial today, so you will be seeing this. If not, it's already up. Um, I do get this to close. Believe you me, I will make it work. <laughs> um, but this is it. This is like a Sonia Kashuk um, little bag that I've had for quite some time. I bought this when I was in Savannah, Georgia. And I'm pretty impressed with myself, but if you really try to pack it in there, I can make it work. So I'm just going to dig through, show you what I've got. I'm going to just kind of give you mini reviews because that way you can kind of see almost like favorites what actually makes it into the bag for a travel and vacation, especially something that's really important that I got to look on point. Um, so that kind of gives you insight on what my current favorites are, some old favorites that I've had for some time. So let's just dig in. All right, so the first thing is the Tartlet Tees palette. This is such a cute little palette. Perfect, perfect for travel. It's got some a couple shades that work really well. These two shades in the middle work beautifully for one shadow looks, which is what I do when I'm on trips and vacation because it's so freaking easy. A couple highlight shades, a couple shades here, um, a brown and a plum that you could use for crease, you can use for liner. So good, wonderful quality. The other eyeshadow, um, I guess quad, is this one from Anastasia that I actually custom made. I don't know off the top of my head what the colors are, but just a cool tone color, a little bit deeper, something warm, something soft and shimmery that could double up as a highlight as well. Beautiful, I love these. The quality is really great on these Anastasia shadows. Foundations, let me just show you where's, yeah, this is it. No, this is the contour. But I have the Anastasia shadow sticks, which, um, shadow sticks? No, foundation sticks, <laughs> uh, that I reviewed recently. These are fairly new. I love them, absolutely love them. And I also have my Alme um, TLC Truly Lasting 16 Hour Makeup, and I wear the shade 220 Neutral. In the stick foundation, I wear the shade Beige, and for contour, I have the shadow color. I actually have both of these mixed today, and I freaking love the two of these mixed together. So good, they're both affordable. This is from the drugstore, the Alme. This one is, I think, 25 a piece. So, so good, love that stuff. Um, mascaras, I'm gonna show you the ones that I have. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Wear, which I got from the Dollar Tree. This is what I use in the lower lash line, works really great. And it's kind of a smallish brush, not too small, um, but the bristles are really short, so it helps when applying mascara to the lower lash line. And then I have two. 
I have the Almay One Coat Multi Benefits. I went and bought the full size. This has keratin in it, which makes your lashes feel nice and soft, conditions them. Really great length and volume. And then my Holy Grail, need I say more? Rocket Volume by Maybelline is my go-to and it has been for years since this came out. I love it, I always have a backup of this. I think this always goes with me on every single freaking trip. Um, an eyelash curler, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Um, I brought it just in case, whatever. Uh, let's see, for brows, I have a couple brows things. So I have the NYX Micro Brow in Ash Brown and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Triangular Brow Pencil and Medium Brown. These are my go-to. Um, this is more fairly recent and new in my collection, the Anastasia Triangular one. Love the formula of these brow pencils. And the Micro Brow by NYX is one that I always have. It's my favorite one from the drugstore. I think I have some other brow products in here, but we'll get to it. This was just laying on top of that um, compact that I'm gonna show you in a minute, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Holy Grail status, cannot be without. This is like such a good brow gel. If you've got crazy wild brow hairs, you need this. You need to try it. <laughs> Concealers. Um, oh, I have, oh, I only have two concealers. What? Check that out. Okay. The Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in Light and the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in Light Neutral. These two are magic. I love them. I use the light in the inner corner to brighten and then a little bit of the light neutral from Urban Decay on the outer corners. I use this as my primer before eyeshadow. Use these to spot conceal if I need to. I tend to use the light one though for that because it's a little bit more close to my skin tone. And I love it. Great formula. They're almost very similar. Um, I would say they're kind of dupes almost in a way as the packaging, the doe foot applicator, the formula. So if you're looking for something like Urban Decay, but a little bit more affordable because it is a little bit pricey from the from the high end side of Ulta. You can try the Maybelline Better Skin. Uh. For eyeliners, I didn't want to take too many of them, um, so I wanted to bring a liquid liner and then a pencil liner. So I have my tattoo uh, liner by Kat Von D. This is such a good liner. Um, but I also did throw in the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof because this one is fairly new. I had a mini size and I can't find it that I've used before. Um, this is not my favorite, but it's very liquidy and very, very black, like an inky type black. So I thought if I really need it to be really black, blacker than the Kat Von D, then I'll use that. But this Trooper one with the brush tip is so good. Um, some tweezers, because you need those and you never know when you gotta pull a brow hair. <laughs> Bronzer, I have the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is a mini one that I've had for years. I have another one that's brand new. I save these little guys when I get them as gift with purchases or free with orders online for purposes like this when I travel because it doesn't take a lot of space at all. And this is so good. It's such a good bronze. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It makes me want chocolate. It makes me want to eat this. <laughs> but it's such a good product. Beauty blenders. I have the original one that I use for foundation and the um, Beauty Blender the blusher for concealer. I also use the rounded side for cream highlights. You can also use it for contour. Heck, I've used this to set my entire face with translucent powder if um, this one ends up being dirty or if I end up dropping it, which I've done that on the floor and I get grossed out, I just use my little one. Um, but these are both good. I think that the blush is just slightly softer than the original, but both very, very good. We'll come back here. Um, oh, I have one shadow stick. It's the Remo Scandalize in the shade 011 Bluffing. I love this. This is what I used when I was over the weekend in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I scribble this on, take a dome foot brush. Dome foot? Dome foot? What? I'm making up words now? No. <laughs> I use a dome style brush. Get it together, Lexi. Number 142. It's actually a concealer brush from Zoeva. And I just use this to soften out the edges and buff it into the crease and just kind of pat the lid if I wanted to or just use the brush to blend out the, the whole lid space all the way up to the crease. And it works so well. It doesn't crease. It's a beautiful kind of taupe shade, which I do like. That's one of my favorite type of colors to use, the taupey shades. But I do also love warm tones. But that is really good. And a little bit of this, some mascara, and I'm done. Like, that's it for the eyes. And I'm okay with it. So I really, really enjoy that. I also have the Marc Jacobs, um, what is this called? The Highliner Gel Crayon in the shade Blacker. This was 
And I think the Sephora birthday gift that I got, it was this in a Marc Jacobs lipstick. Yes, lipstick. And it's a nice one for tight lining. It doesn't really transfer onto the lower lash line or the lower waterline. It's very creamy, and I've also used this as regular liner on the upper lid area or upper lash line, and it works well. So I, I like it because it's small, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, and the packaging is kind of cute. It's very sort of silvery metallic. Primer, I have the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer. This was a small one that I got with 100 points at Sephora. Love this. I actually think that when I run out, I will purchase full size. But I'm gonna wait till I finish this completely before I do that, just to make sure but I have been enjoying it. I have it under my foundation today. Love this, such a good primer. Okay, for highlight, I got a few, but let's just talk about this one. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Splits. This is the Prosecco Pop and Amaretto. I love this blush. Like this is like my favorite. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it every single day for like three weeks straight. And I have been loving this. I also use the um, Lorac Tinge which that's like a classic favorite of mine that I've had for a long time since the summertime. Um, I think last summer those came out. But anyways, these are fairly new. These are limited edition, so I do apologize if they're no longer available. The highlight, I don't use it very often. Um, it's very, very gold. Um, so if you're not into that, I have to make it work with some other highlights. It's beautiful. I think it works best for someone that has a tan, someone that's medium skin, even deeper skin tones, but if you're really light like I am, or even lighter than me, more pale, this ends up looking like a gold, like, street mark. Uh, no. Uh, but the blush is actually beautiful. It's not completely matte, but it's not shimmery. It's kind of a soft satin. Love this, love that um, limited edition packaging on those. Um, I have a, oh, I just put this in here today, the um, Anastasia Brow Powder in Medium brown this is the brow powder duo and I have hip pan what um, I normally don't hit pan on a lot of products so when I do I get <laughs> I get a little too excited I can't help it you know it's you know it happens um, so yeah I hit pan on this the medium brown is bomb oh for more highlight stuff because that was enough I have the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Lavender Lust. Love, 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 love. I have a review on this. I will link it right above my head here so you can see it also in the description box. This is amazing. I have this one and the champagne one, but I love the brightness and that glowy because it's very shimmery. But the lavender, it's not super purple where you're like, oh my God, girl, you got purple on your face. But it gives you that brightness. I wish I had worn this today, but you know, I wanted to do something very fall-like. So that's what it looks like. I did scribble on a lot, and you know, sometimes I do wear it like that, I'm not gonna lie, you know? But if you soften this out, it's just so beautiful and gives you that brightness, and it just makes your complexion look so good. Like, I love that. And then, if I wanna put something over that, I will use the Laura Mercier highlight. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Highlight number 01. And I've had this little mini one for such a long time and I barely sort of leveled out that sort of domed shape that it has. I do want to buy this full size, but this thing will not run out. It's like, when are you gonna be done so I can buy another one? So I have a reason to go to Sephora. <laughs> this is so good, I love it. I love it, it's such a good highlighter on its own. It's beautiful over this lavender color from NYX. Mm, so yummy. I have a mirror. This is just an Anastasia one. It's like a free gift of purchase. You need a mirror when you travel. I also have the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat uh, Powder Foundation in the shade Natural. I didn't use this well. I don't think I used this while well. I was away for my birthday weekend, but I do like to use this occasion if I feel like I need a little extra coverage. My blemishes, my cystic bumps are healing, thankfully. Thank the Lord. Um, but if I need some extra coverage because I'm breaking out, I tend to use a little bit of this over the stick foundation or just the Alme with this over it. Good powder. It's not completely flat, as the name suggests, um, but it's not super dewy. It's not luminescent. It's not radiant or anything. It just makes your skin look like skin. Oh, I also added um, this to my collection today, the Long Lasting Brow Definer by Catrice in Chocolate Brownie. Because I'm trying to let my brows grow, I have posted my eight-week update for Rapid Lash. Um, which is a growth serum for eyebrows and lashes and I'm trying not to pluck what has grown in 
So I have to use this to kind of fill in some bald spots. So that's a new thing that I added recently to this bag after coming back from my trip. I always take this with me as well, the NYX Tinted Brow and the Shea Brunette. It's something, if I'm going to like an amusement park and went to Dollywood, I just use this through the brow to give me some definition because I do have some sparseness and it kind of looks a little off. So this does help me out. Um, and I do have some other ones, but this is just, the tone of this works well. Uh, and that is in the shade Brunette. Oh, I forgot to show you this earlier. This little jar, <laughs> this little jar here is, you can find them in the travel section. I got these at Ulta. It comes in a two pack for 99 cents. But the powder that's in it is my ultra lucent setting powder from Cinema Secrets because I will show you how massive this powder is. This is the actual container that you get when you buy it at Sephora. It's huge. And then this is the one that I have. So much smaller, just not that much space that it takes up in my makeup bag, which can allow me to put something else in and pack more makeup. <laughs> um, but this is just too big for travel, this big old thing. So this works well. Also another really good powder if you're wondering, the Laura Mercier um, Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This is a travel size. I There's only like a little drop, not enough for an entire face. This is also a good size for travel as well. I have the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. This I did not use while on my trip. I don't think I did. I'm trying to think. Nope, I don't think I used it. I don't know if I'll bring it. I may because this is really good for the waterline to make your eyes look bright and awake. Um, I don't like it to carve out my brows. I think, ooh, I almost poke myself. I always do that every time I'm talking to you. And I talk about brows and I'm pointing with an object. I always feel like I'm gonna poke myself. Um, yeah, I don't really like the formula for under the brows. Like. I'd rather use concealer if I'm going to do that, but the lower waterline, beautiful. Down to the last few little things. I put this in here today, the Essence Barely There number 06 lipstick. It's what I'm wearing right now. Part of the long wear, I love it. It's such a fall color. I've had these for a while. They don't smell weird. They still apply just as beautifully as they did when I first purchased them back in Colorado. Ooh, that's a long time. Um, I love it, and they actually do wear pretty well. And I wouldn't say an entire day, but they're not drying. They feel like a lipstick. They perform like, like a lipstick. They do transfer a little bit. Um, they're not as drying as a long wear like liquid lipstick, and they don't stay put like liquid lipsticks, but they have some long wear aspects to them. I don't know, it's a good formula, I like it. And it's like super cheap. Last lip products, uh, I have this lipstick. This is the Burt's Bees in the shade Lily Lake, number 530. Beautiful, kind of lighter, I'll show you. Um, berry color, and there it is. It's not too dark, it's not too vampy. Um, it's a little bit darker than my natural lip color, a little bit more berry, and I'll show you a swatch of this um, Essence one. So these are my two lipsticks that I have. One is a little bit deeper, and more fall-like, and then this one's just like a classic. This is the Burt's Bees. That could be for like every day. And I also like the formula as well. I did have a gloss, which is in my purse. It's the uh, Tarte one, the Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Avi. Love it. Um, I don't have it here to show you, but I've talked about that before. Uh, I did not use this at all. This is the Kat Von D. Um, this is a mini of the Lolita, right? Yes, Lolita. Um, I love the color. The formula is pretty good. I'm not a long wear lipstick person. I haven't found one that is like rocking my socks, but if you have one that's really, really good that someone who loves lip gloss could use, let me know. Hook it up, okay? <laughs> so I think I might actually leave this before I take my flight because I don't think I'm gonna use this. I'd rather take the Essence one, which is what I'm wearing because that's more, it's just more comfortable. So I think I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave it right here because I don't wanna put it back. My last product is the lip liner. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in number 04 All Natural. This is my go-to look. It's so small, it's getting even smaller. I do sharpen it before I leave because it's a traditional pencil, that's the only downside. Beautiful color, everyday type shade. I've used this to line and fill my lips and just wear that and it looks like I'm wearing a matte long wear lip product but without the discomfort and dryness. It's such a beautiful shade, works well with these colors, very complimentary to my Tarte Gloss, which is in my purse, that is more of a kind of nudish brown color. So this works really great, love that. You, you've heard me talk about that before. And then the last few little things, and we're empty, is some little clips. I always put little clips in there, and in the little pockets, do I have anything? Oh, hair ties, 
a no-show one and then a regular one, some bobby pins, band-aids, because you never know. You never know. And then that's it. There's nothing else in the other pocket. So that, my friends, is everything that's in this little bag. So it's a lot of stuff, but I do cram it in there. I do make it work. I will have to, like, maybe sit on this bag and try to zip it up, but it's going to get zipped. <laughs> my brushes, I do carry my brushes separate. Um, I don't have them set out to um, travel again because uh, I've been doing tutorials and stuff, so I put them back in here. But this is the Mikasa. I forget what this is called, but it's the travel brush roll, um, and it has a cap, and it just sort of buttons up here. That's what I use for my brushes. And if I travel by plane, I just throw that into my suitcase, and then my makeup goes as a part of my carry-on. So that is everything. I know I shared a lot of stuff. I talked very fast, but I wanted to share with you everything that's in here because you kind of get a little inside peek of what I take with me when I travel and what makes the cut. So obviously these things are actually really good. I would recommend everything that I showed you here in this video, I do recommend. So if you try them out, please let me know what you thought about them. And if you have any favorites that you love for travel, please let me know and I will definitely respond because I you know, like trying new products and if you have some recommendations, why not send them my way? So I hope you guys enjoy it. I will, okay, I don't know what that was. I don't know if the camera might caught that, but something fell and it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Anyways, whoo, my heart, y'all, is beating through my chest. <laughs> um, anyways, so what I'll do is, if I remember, I will try to list everything down below. It's a lot of crap, but I will try to, and if I get a chance to type it up beforehand, I will just copy and paste it down in the description box. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe, become part of my YouTube family. And if you'd like to see off camera what my life is like, or just sort of tune in, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll get to see like my trips and stuff if you were um, on Snapchat over the Labor Day weekend, you saw where I was, and I shared with you guys that, and that is down below as well as my Twitter and my Instagram, and I wish you all a very happy day, weekend, whenever this is, and I will see you when I get back from my trip. Bye-bye.